Buckingham Palace excitement is building there as well. And the announcement will combine both tradition and technology. Mark Phillips is standing by there. Mark, good morning. Good morning, Nora. Good morning, Charlie. Well, it's the business of the royal family, of course, to be both traditional and in some ways anachronistic. And they've planned some very anachronistic royal show business around the announcement of this birth. As Liz was just saying, uh, it will be announced here on a piece of paper put on an easel in a frame in front of the palace here. Crowds have already gathered here as they do every day for the uh, daily changing of the guard ceremony. They seem a little bit bigger and a little bit more excited today and will probably stick around a little longer waiting for any glimpse of, uh, of information or any sign that that paper announcement will be coming. Uh, there is no more information even from the child's, the prospective child's grandfather, Prince Charles. Uh, and his wife Camilla were touring in the north of England today. Inevitably he was asked whether he knew anything about the pending arrival of the child, he said he knew absolutely nothing, which is the situation that the rest of us are finding here. The big test will be, of course, now whether this royal plan stands up. Uh, it's a long time between the birth, uh, the production of the piece of paper, the bringing it across London, the bringing it to the palace, the putting it out in the forecourt here. A lot of time for tweets and emails and other things to possibly happen. This is a race between the traditional and the modern, and we'll see who wins. Nora, Charlie. Mark Phillips, good to see you. Thank you. And we're going to